morning everyone and welcome to Vlogmas Day 8. Today I am not vlogging, vlogging like what I'm doing today. I actually have some top secret Santa stuff that I need to work on today. But I am expecting a Tesco delivery in a little while and I'm going to show you guys that. It's the first party, all my Christmas shopping and all that, you know, all the boofy stuff and everything. What I'm able to fit in the freezer at the minute. The freezers are winding down. I'm getting them down but I've still got a few things left to eat up and make more space. So today's delivery is from Tesco and I think I'm going to get an Asda delivery towards the end of the week because there's a few things that I need for the weekend that I need to buy fresh and all that. So I'll show you guys that later in the week. And then I think I'm going to get another big Tesco shop, maybe Christmas week or something. Just get everything else that I'm needing. And I really want to go to Aldi and Morrison's as well, because they've got some things that I can't get at Tesco or Aldi, eh, Tesco or Asda, sorry. You know, from now until Christmas, you're probably going to see quite a few little shops and all that. And it's all stuff for not so much Christmas Day, mostly for the Boxing Day buffet. Anyway, this is the first part of me getting all that stuff in for the Boxing Day buffet. I hope you guys enjoy it. And today's weather is snowing, but it's also the start of this new storm that's meant to be coming over the next couple of days. <laughs> Ooh, I'm glad I'm inside. I hope you guys are all keeping safe and it's not affecting anybody. So as per usual, I'll start with the frozen stuff. I got a bag of the chicken breast fillet portions for meals for Ali. And this is all my... Boxing Day buffet stuff, some of the frozen stuff. Standard sausage rolls. I also got two bags of the cheese and onion rolls. I don't know why you can get sausage rolls in a 50 pack, but cheese and onion rolls are only in a 25 pack. So anyway, I got two packets of them. I got three packets of cocktail sausages because everybody loves them. And there is going to be, God, maybe about 20-ish people here on Boxing Day. I got some crispy chicken for dinners for Ali and some frozen spinach for me. There's a recipe I want to try, you might see in the next couple of weeks. It's like a dip and it has spinach in it, so I'm going to try that. Um, Brie Bites, I've got two boxes of them. Two boxes of mini vegetable spring rolls. Oh no, I'm lying. Wait there. Ah. I was wondering what I'd done there. So I've got two boxes of mini vegetable spring rolls and then I've got two boxes of hot and spicy prawns and two boxes of the mini vegetable samosas and I also got two bags of halloumi fries I could eat all of them on my own, they're delicious and then the last frozen thing I got is this Viennese Art Chocolate Yule Log I've never seen that before, I thought ooh so I don't know if I'm going to take that for Christmas day take it to mum's or keep it for the Boxing Day buffet because we do have quite a few puddings on Christmas Day already. I've got two packets of beef mince. It's Irish beef mince. Um, the 20% fat, this is the only one that I could get that was available in the shop. So that's just for Ali's dinners. And then I've got some Kiev's for him because I'm having macaroni one night and he doesn't always want macaroni. So I got him them just in case he didn't want it that night. And then I saw these haggis olives. I got them for Ali and probably Mark as well. I'll make them both at one night. They both really love haggis and beef and that. And then I'll make a gravy to go with it. I've got loads of meatballs in the freezer for myself, vegetarian ones, but I've not got any for Ali. So I've got some beef meatballs, lots of cheese as per usual. I've got two blocks of matured cheddar and then I've got two packets of the cheese slices. These are mostly for Ali to make his grilled cheese. They're just easier than him hacking away at my body blocks of cheddar. I got two packets of mozzarella, two blocks of parmesan cheese. These are for the recipe, the dip recipe as well. Not both of them. I think one of them's for something else, but I can't remember off the top of my head. When we were at Mum's last week, she got this brie and it was really, really nice. And all I've been fancying since I got back to Mum's was some cream crackers with brie so I got myself some of that and I did get some crackers as well. I got two big tubs, this is a 300 gram tub I think it is, 340 grams um, of Philadelphia for Christmas recipes. I got a pot of sour cream, I got Ali some pots of joy for puddings, I uh, well, fancied some mushroom patties so I got myself some of that. And then cheese coleslaw, that's something that Ali asked for. I also got 12 eggs, a loaf of bread, 
some potato scones. These are actually going to go in the freezer for our Christmas Day breakfast. And then the only fruit or veg that I got was two bags of potatoes. And now we're on to all the food cupboard treats and goodies. I got two big boxes, the 900 gram ones of the Jacob's Cracker selection. Um, one is for Boxing Day buffet and one is actually to take to mums because again, this year I'm in charge of the cheese and crackers. I got some breadsticks for the Boxing Day buffet. The kids in my family love breadsticks so I just got some of them. Um, I got another packet of these because the other packet that I got last week are gone. Ali and I absolutely love them. They're so delicious. You need to try them if you haven't already. These Coronation Turkey Lattice Crisps, absolutely banging. I got two bags of kettle chips, the Gardener's Classic Rosemary and Sea Salt. These are absolutely delicious as well. So nice. I uh, tried these. The other day it was somebody who had them at work and I had a few. Um, for the Boxing Day buffet I've got a selection of nuts. So I've got two packets of the roasted and salted cashews. I've got two packets of these Pigs and Blankets flavoured crispy coated peanuts. I think the kids will all love them. I've got some tuck cheese sandwich for the Boxing Day buffet. And I've got another two bags of the Maltesers mini reindeer. Not because I've finished the ones that I got last week. I just like, I just love these. These are probably one of my favourite Christmas sweeties. I ordered some marzipan for my Christmas cake. And this isn't the one that I ordered, but this is the one that they sent. And it's absolutely fine. It's still marzipan and it actually looks easier. It's already rolled. <laughs> it looks easier than the one that I did order. So I'm happy with that. I got Ali another two packets of these Oreos that are 50p on offer at the minute just to stock up on some biscuits for him. I'm out of dark brown sugar and I also needed some royal icing sugar for the Christmas cake. I got myself a packet of cream crackers. I know I've got two massive tubs of crackers there but they're, they're for Christmas. These are for me. I got a tray of this pretzel cracker mix just for the Boxing Day buffet. The kids all love snacky stuff like that. I got a tub of the Ritz mini minis and I got some original salted cake peanuts and dry roasted cake peanuts. These were on offer at the minute as well actually, I can't remember how much they were. I'll put them on the screen. I'll actually try and put most of the prices on the screen for everything. I got a big bag of walkers for me and Ali. I'm just, it's just the mood that I'm in at the minute. I just want ready salted walkers but I've got a big bag for to last us up until well, hopefully it'll last us till January. It depends how bad I'm feeling. <laughs> you can see I've got some toilet roll there. I usually get my toilet roll at Aldi, but I'm not quite sure when I'm going to get there and we really need some. Like, we're literally on the last couple of squares of one of the toilet rolls. So I've got two packets of that. I also got four selection boxes just to put in with people's gifts. These are the medium size ones, the Cadbury ones, and they're the same price as the small Cadbury ones at the minute, so got them. I got some cocoa powder for baking and that, I'm completely out. A massive jar of Hellman's mayonnaise. This is for recipes and stuff and also, you know, over the festive season. Um, I got two jars of black pitied olives and two jars of green pitied olives for the Boxing Day buffet. We do like our olives in my family. And to go with the cheese and crackers and everything, I got some piccalilli and I got some Branston small chunk pickle. This is the one that I prefer. I've completely run out of mushy peas, so I've got four tins of that. I think it was on offer. Oh, and I saw this and I was like, oh, I have to try that. A black olive pesto. It's from the Wicked Kitchen, which they specialise in vegan um, meals. Black olives, basil and cashews with a touch of charcoal. Charcoal? I never knew that. Um, for quarter of a jar, it's 159 calories. It just really reminded me when Ali and I and Mark were in Italy a couple of years ago. Ali and I had bruschetta and it had black olive um, stuff like a tapenada on top of it and I was wondering if it was like that because that was so delicious. So I'm going to try that one day. I was out of ground ginger and ground nutmeg so I just got them to top up with because that's the kind of spices that you need during this season for baking and all that. I got an enchilada kit, I'm going to make enchiladas one night. And then I got a 24 pack of sugar-free iron brew. It's the one that you're meant to use like an advent calendar, that won't happen here. I got another two bottles of Bucks Fizz. I think I've got four already, but I like to keep stocked up on this. I like my Bucks Fizz at Christmas and for the Boxing Day buffet. 
I got Ali a four pack of the smooth orange juice and then we're having the nieces round for the North Pole breakfast this weekend so I got them some little cartons of juice, I got them the apple juice and I also got them the orange juice, you know breakfast kind of juices but I'm going to, I've uh, just realised I need to get a diluting juice as well so I can fill up a cup for baby Violet because there's seven kids in total but Violet probably won't drink out of a carton she'll drink out of her little sippy cup or something like that so we'll see well I'll probably have to add that onto the Asda delivery that I'm planning to get this week two of the jumbo kitchen towels I needed more of them and I've ran out of the Sainsbury's washing up like but it didn't really last long to be honest with you so I got some of the fairy pomegranate one this is probably one of my favorite ones at this time of year and fairy lasts forever I'll still probably still be using this in February <laughs> I also needed some kitchen cleaner, so I got this Method one. I usually get the wild rhubarb one, but because it's Christmas, I thought I'd get a clementine one. I got myself two big bottles of bath foam. This is turning into my new favourite one. And then they had a lot of the gift sets, you know, these kind of health and beauty type ones, smelly sets. They're all on offer at the minute. I can't remember how much this was. I'm sure it was £2 something or maybe £3 something. But I love the Lynx Attract for her. I love the deodorant and the shower gel and you can only ever get it really in the gift set so I bought this for myself. Yeah, I'm really excited but I maybe should have got another one actually because it was so cheap. And there was a few little bits that I can't show you like gifts to put in with people's Christmas and that people that watch these videos so I can't show you them. But that is everything that I got from Tesco. I actually feel that it's less than I thought it was going to be. I can't even remember my total. Oh, I did get cat food and dog food as well so that bumped my total up a little bit so I will put my total on the screen I can't even remember what it was but thank you so much for watching this video everyone I hope you guys enjoyed it please like it if you did subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you tomorrow for vlogmas day 9